What's going on, YouTube? This your boy, Mopar Gaming TV. Vroom, vroom. Coming at y'all with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all exactly where to go inside of the new mission, the countermeasure mission, and get the, the boxing gloves, the mirror, and the target. I'm going to show you exactly where to get it. And in the second half of the video, I'm going to be showing you where to go and to make it turn uh, legendary so you can open up the um, the new Dark Ether Rift so you can do the new tiers that they have to get the new schematics. So the first one, the boxing gloves is located on top of the ship. So what you have to do is run around here, jump on this little shed right here, and you have to wait until the truck drops down to where you can jump on the top of the truck because if you jump why it's look like it's high enough where he can grab it he can't grab onto it when it's high so he has to jump straight on it so you have to wait till it come down and just jump directly on it once you jump on it just run it i tried to go this way and i got stuck so i just turned around and i ran the opposite direction because it was a lot more easy to go the other way so i just ran around the opposite direction so once i ran around the opposite side and jumped over me and Black Mamba, my homeboy, me and him was doing this uh, together because we ain't had nothing better to do. So what we do is you jump down and once you jump down, you activate the uh, the polium. You activate the polium. And once you activate it, you have to stay inside the circle and just punch the zombies that spawn. You just want to punch them, get the uh, insta kill perk and just punch them until you punch them until they die. And once they die, they're going to give you the, uh, the riff and you just open up the riff. The, the reward portal open it up and it's going to give you the boxing gloves and then you go to the next section All right, guys, and the next one we're going to do is the target. So what you want to do is you go to the backhand side of the map to the northeastern side. And once you jump down inside here, you'll see that the podium is right here. So with this one, you need to get headshots. So what you want to do is bring guns that you can use that actually has a high chance of getting headshots. So I use the swarm because the swarms actually spray a lot of bullets and you can just spin in the circles and just let them things cut loose and they'll get you a lot of headshots. So what you want to do is you want to start the rift and wait till they come in the inside of it. And once they come in the inside, just get headshots. So once you get enough headshots, the rift is going to open up and you just take the target out of that and then you go to the next section. Alright guys, so in this one we're gonna go get the mirror. So this was kind of hard to find because you go run around in the fog and all those little crystals that's coming out of the ground look like the polium. So what you want to do is just jump off and run straight to the middle of the map and go to the east a little bit and you go find it. So what you want to do is activate this. But we activated it once. And we didn't really pay attention to the color of the ring of fire. So whatever color the ring is, that's what you want to use. So whenever you want to use the ring and you see the rings red, you want to use the napalm ammo. Shoot them all up. Just kill zombies with the napalm ammo. When it turns blue, like a cloudy blue, that's the uh, frost. And when it turns green, that's the uh, brain rot. And when it turns like an electric look like electric uh, lightning bolts through it that's the uh dead wire so all you want to do is stay inside the circles and when the flame on the outside changes you want to make sure you use that ammo type don't switch the ammo type until you until the ring changes colors once the ring change colors that's when you want to use the different ammo type because if you activate it too fast and use all your ammo types it's not going to respawn the ammo for you and you have to run away to reset it all right, guys, so in the second half of the video, I'm going to be showing y'all what to do with the items once you receive them and have them. I'm going to show you what to do with them to turn them legendary so you can open up the new Dark Ether portal. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Bopal Gaming TV. Vroom, vroom, coming at y'all with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all exactly where you put the items that you collected from the Countermeasures Act 4 story mission. I'm going to show you exactly where you put them at and where the locations are located. So the first location is over here at the graveyard. So all you have to do is come to the graveyard right here with the mirror. Run around the building right here where your tombstone normally spawns at. Just run around the building and then come to the front of the building. And right in front of the building, right where the doorway at, you just run right here. It's going to tell you on the map. Just hold square. The dude going to run from behind you from around the back of the building. 
So you're supposed to take and use a specific ammo type on him. But all you got to do is just hit him with your ether blade. So what I did was I hit him with the ether blade, drug him in the middle up here, right in the center of all this stuff. And then I just hit him with the ether blade again and killed him, picked the item up, and then I went to the next location. All right, guys. So the next location is down here at the gym. Is at the south, uh, the southwest end of the map where you first spawn in by the beach. You just run it to the right, and you go to the gym where you do the Outlast contract. So what you want to do is go in here, jump in the ring, start the match, and then punch the bags from left to right. And once the zombie spawn, just jump in the ring and just punch him. And then you pick up his item that he dropped. The golden gloves and then that's a wrap on that one then you go to the next location so while i was headed to the next location i was passing by and i seen the storm was right there so i just went on ahead inside the storm and just fight the storm cause like just because it was there and i had a lot of time and time to waste so i just went on ahead and fought him and the gun i was using in this video was the renetti with the aftermarket part if you haven't tried the renetti with the aftermarket part you should definitely try this gun out because this gun is real good especially in zombies it really just wrecks everything in zombies so if you look at my channel i have a video on it that i posted with the renetti so if you haven't tried this gun just give it a go i'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed oh no oh electric shot Alright guys, in the very last location is the target dummies. So what you want to do is go to the southeastern end of the map, all the way at the very bottom of the map. And just go to the very bottom of the map and go to the center, start the matchup. And you go see everywhere they have these little target dummies. You go see like the little targets in the air, like with the purple stuff around them. So what you want to do is just run around and shoot them all. Once you shoot them all, you're going to know because they're going to have a zombie spawn. Don't forget the one that's over here behind the container. So once you shoot these right here that's in the middle, they got one back here behind these containers right here. So what I would suggest is shoot this one. And once you shoot this one, just run all the way straight across the map. Run north up the map to the middle of the map. Once you go to the middle of the map, you're going to see a target dummy. I mean a target right here. Just shoot that target and a zombie going to spawn. Once he spawn, just go ahead and shoot him in the stomach. And then once he die, the target dummy go pop up. And then just pick up the uh, the golden item right here. And once you pick that one up, you'll have all three items. And you should already have the drum, which is your fourth item, which you should have got from the new mission that we had to do first. So once you finish these missions, what you want to do is take these, go to zone three, go up the hill, and go put them on these. Right here is the location. They have pedestals all the way around. Just put those on the offerings on the pedestals and open up the rift. Thanks for watching.